Hi guys, Mitch Miller here, and today I'll be doing an Inquisitorial Blade Guard. Hope you guys enjoy this kit bash and painting job. Let's get straight into it real quick. I start this kit bash by gathering all the bits I am required for this, starting with a Pymaris Assault Intercessor. Using this, I sever the torso from the waist to allow the ability to attach the Death Watch Death Watch veterans to the, to the um torso to the leg of for a flush fit. Now usually this is with the Death Watch there a firstborn marine box which is a little hard to burn to my Mars as they are slightly shorter but with this one I've adjusted the head a bit so it's a bit on the smaller side, but it is a um, little bit more. With that, I built the torso for the death watch. As well, I do have to clean it up. I do forget to do it occasionally, but yes, clean it up. Just glue it all together. Removed any of the extra sprue tanks that I have managed to forget. Adding a little sprue glue, filling that little recess. But recess, as a lot of the time you'll have that because of the way that you first born marine legs attach to the body. Filling that in helps to, well, eliminate that. Here you must remove the bell buckle along with it so it gets nice and flush. It does look a bit weird, I will admit. But overall, it was quite nice. And if you add like a tallard, something along those lines, it should have most of that issue. With very minimal to zero modifications needed. Here I take a knife building reaver arm and replace the blade hand with just a regular power sword I found. line it up so it nicely fits in and then I try to attach the bottom which didn't work out as well as I wanted it to as I'm terrible with alignment and I do take that fully into consideration but originally the hand looked cool and it's just moved so that was all my fault here I removed the hand of the pistol building arm to replace it with a death watch sheet I do have to rearrange it a bit to get it to fit, but the shield looks really nice for like say a breacher shield or sort of a riot shield. Just because of it's slightly smaller, it looks more maneuverable but still durable. So it works out quite well with this model and it does well emulate the death watch a lot. And since these are my inquisitorial guards, they will be all helping to escort or protect a inquisitor once I'm able to get my hands on one. If you want to see me do an inquisitor, let me know down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. With this, I do attempt to attack, to attack this um, Primaris head, but in the end, I gave up on that and then just got a regular helmeted head a uh, blade guard veteran head it worked out a lot better than what I expected and it helped me give me that little bit of extra height so it looks well it looks a bit awkward but it works You can see me scouting for the head as I change my mind from the prime art.
With a bit of sprue glue, I attach the head. With the backpack situation, I just take a death watch backpack, remove its optical camera thing and attach it to a primaris, then cut back on that dome from the back plate of the back power pack and replace it with the Inquisitorial skull from a death watch backpack. It works out well, it looks nice, and with his head it does look a tad awkward, but works out quite well. Let's get into painting. Citadel Beast by Thoris Gould. Citadel Beast, Iron Warriors. Model color, white glaze. Citadel Base by Thoris Gold.
Vallejo Game Color Scarlet Blood Citadel Base Reef Bow Army Painter Hydra Turquoise I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more videos of these play of these inquisitorial guards, please let me know down in the comments down below. And while you're doing it, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!